That's really incredible. And so wonderful what you do, too, because I know that I'll, although you're a heart surgeon, that your biggest concern is preventative medicine, getting people to take care of themselves so that they don't have to come and be operated. You know, it's, it's really cool when you first learn how to do, in my case, heart surgery. Yeah. But then when you realize that so often the operation I'm doing is reversing something you did to yourself, right. your, your soul just starts to seep out of your pores. And, and that's actually the calling a cry for so many physicians and other nurses, you know, healers around the country is to, is to try to get at these problems before they hit us. That's stated. Sometimes stuff happens. Right. Trauma, diseases you couldn't predict, you have to have surgery to take a cancer out, and so you've got to be able to rebuild the body. So take that bladder as an example. So let's yeah. say you had bladder cancer and you lost your bladder. Well, what are you going to do? How do you go to the bathroom? Well, until recently, there wasn't a lot. But this is what was in that video. This, feel that, Oprah. This is actually the mold that's created to build a new bladder. So I could use this mold, take some of your blood, inject it around this, uh -huh. and over a couple of weeks, you'll grow your own bladder. It'll be your cells. That is incredible. I know. I, I didn't that realize how incredible. far they come. That so, is incredible. And it goes on. I mean, this is the same mold. So you just sort of take some blood and some cells and then put this in the mold, and then that's what they do. They incubate it. They incubate it. And here's the big breakthrough, is that if you build it, yeah. your cells will come. That's yeah. basically it. Yeah. And so we can actually now recognize that your body is continually making stem cells. It's all about stem cells to yeah. a large extent. Yeah. So if it's in your blood right now, there are stem cells looking around there and saying, you know what? Oprah's left eye is not so healthy today. I'm going to go in there and fix it. Yeah. And so we don't, didn't know until recently how to turn that up a little bit. That's Regenerative amazing. medicine is about getting that to work for a bladder outside your body. This is an example. Let's say you're... This you're is like science. The he was right. It is like, you know, what you used to read about in science fiction or couldn't even imagine happening. This no, is no. unbelievable. Now, I have shown you in the past yes. livers. Yes. That, feel that. This is a liver yeah. that has had all the cells taken out of it. Uh-huh. Right? So all this left behind. This was, was somebody's liver. This, this was an animal liver. OK. And all the cells have been taken out. So you're left with the, the two by fours that are the structure of the organ without the actual cells in it. OK. So let's say I took a, an organ like this out of uh, an animal, yes. and I put your cells in it. Uh -huh. You could grow your own liver. So when I would look to do a transplant on you, I wouldn't have to take a dead person's. All we need is, is the mold. Cells take my blood, take spin it down, yeah. put the cells into this, baste it in that chamber that we showed in the video, and it will slowly grow your own organ back. That is incredible. <laughs> that is, don't y'all think that's incredible? That is incredible. Yeah. Woo! Okay, let me just answer this. So that means if you're going to have a heart transplant, you could have a heart transplanted with your own cells. So you rebuild your own heart. Exactly. So no, exactly. no medications. No medications. This is the part that's really important. We have about 7,000 people waiting for hearts, for example. Yeah. We only get 2,000 donors. This yeah. is an opportunity for us that's to regenerate. That's why this is big. Were you not blown away? Completely. I, I, by the way, I, as much as I follow this stuff, I had no idea how far this field has come. Wow. This I mean, is that great. huge advance. Okay. And now the other thing we learned with these uh, tissues is that you have to actually stress them. Tissue wants to be used. See that inside this tube? Yeah. That's an artery. Put your finger right next to that trachea and you feel that little pulse, that, that little bounciness right in here? Mm -hmm. okay, that's the carotid artery. That's this artery. But it's wow. made from this mold. Let me have your hand. Uh -huh. okay, just hold that up there. And you see that? It looks that, like a straw. It looks like a straw. Yeah. But if you take that straw, again, it's just a mold, and you plant cells on it, and then you put it in a chamber and push on it, like your heart will be pushing on a blood vessel, you can regrow a blood vessel, which means that all of these different synthetic products you try to put inside your body, we don't have to do that anymore. We could actually make blood vessels to replace your busted blood vessels. And how long would it take to do that, though? This, this takes weeks, not years or months or anything. It's pretty short term which is why it's becoming into the, uh, something that's viable for clinical practice. Really, really amazing.